It's Miniature Monday. Do you know where your miniatures are? If they are two dragon wormlings, one of the gold dragon variety with a small treasure pile, and the other one of a green dragon wormling with an afflicted elf, then, well, guess what? I got them right here on my table here. And we're going to open these for you today. So bear with me here. So anyway, want to thank you for watching. Uh, if you haven't watched this before, I generally just open up stuff, yammer on about it, maybe crack a few ex-wife jokes, and uh, that's where we're at with this. So um, yeah, there we go. Let's crack this one on open. We're starting with the green dragon with afflicted elf. Not conflicted elf. He doesn't decide if he wants to do his whole little drow goth phase yet. We're going for afflicted elf. So there we go. We got some one inch by one inch bases, um, 24 millimeter variety. If uh, you know that's your you know country of origin where you use the metric system, and we got Mr. Green Dragon here. Um, like the eye detail. Uh, quite a bit of uh, mold lines on there, but that should clean up fine. Um, that kind of bothers me, but you know what? That's what liquid green stuff is for. If you don't know what liquid green stuff is, um, yeah, I use it quite a bit for, um, it's for gap filling. Everyone thinks it's for sculpting and want to know why it's so weak and flimsy. It's actually just for gap filling. You, uh, spread it in there and then you take a wet, wet brush, smooth it out, and that takes care of those gaps for you. It's good for multi-piece models. In fact, let me show you what something looks like. There you go, right there. I literally have five jars of this stuff. So there is that, you know, Games Workshop puts it out. I got that on clearance, so, and it's in one of these pots, so it's probably already dry. So uh, we'll see when we'll see. Anyway, and then we have the Afflicted Elf um, that looks like it's literally trying to rip its hair out. So, um, I don't know, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna rename him Elf that's been basically introduced to the latest Cardi B track, and uh, and just kind of leave it at that. Just uh, yeah, yeah. This elf has listened to Wet Ass Pussy for the last time, so just like look at the anguish, <laughs> look at the pain there, look at the pain. He needs a bucket and a mop for that. He's he already he already uses nose to swipe it like a credit card. There we go. That's where our elf is with that poor poor sod. So we're gonna put you guys right there. Um, and then while we open up this other one, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to, well, other than knock everything on over, I'm just going to put you all right there. I'm going to put good old Sir Four Scale here. This is Sir Garrick the Bold. It's a Reaper miniature, often used to show how miniatures are to scale by Reaper Miniature Company. So I'm going to use him in this, and it's going to be, we call him Sir Four Scale, because... Yeah, he's not included with the purchase. He's just there for scale. So let's take a look at the gold dragon wormling and small treasure pile. Let's see what we got going on right here. These are probably both going to be pretty easy paint jobs to do, to be honest with you. This one looks kind of cool because it looks like it's got like a breath weapon um, included. So we got that. And dump all this nastiness out. There we go. So this one, as opposed to the other one, only comes with one of those wafer-thin bases. So we have that. Then we have the good old gold dragon wormling with the old Mothra wings that go basically from tip to tail with a bit of a gap right there. Not liking that, but you know what? It's not the end of the world. We can make that work, right? And it looks like... I don't know what the fuck it's pointing up and looking up for. I don't, maybe there's like a larger dragon around. Maybe it's at Michael Jackson's house. I don't fucking know. I, I do not know why you're looking up like that. Maybe I just the mama gold dragon like chew up a bunch of worms and spit it down his fucking throat or something. Or I don't know. So, uh, well, that, that's kind of weird. I'm not sure what to make of that. But the cool thing is you're supposed to have this wonderful handy dandy breath weapon here. Let's see what's going on with that. Well, that's kind of dumb. Let's see. Okay. So. Yeah. There we go. 
kind of snaps on in there. So you have the optional breath weapon. I guess you don't have to glue it. It kind of stays in really good by itself. So gluing isn't you know necessary. And then I would go over this with some orange and probably red yellow glazes uh, to get that flame effect. And you'll you'll do all right with that. So let's put you right there and let's look at this treasure pile. Oh, well, hey there, Captain Top Heavy. <laughs> there we go. We got that. And then we got, looks like the piece of a crown. Piece of uh, some sort of goblet or something going on there. Nope, that's a helmet. That is a helmet. I am just blind. And a bunch of square, some square coins, probably dwarven coins. So, yeah, not 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 bad. Not bad. I'll paint that up and it'll look awesome. And then, of course, this is what your artist rendering of that would look like. So, there's that. Um, would I buy these again? Uh, I paid $4.99 for um, both, for each pack. I'm sorry. Each pack, one had the worm, the <laughs> one had the green dragon wormling, and the other one had the, and they had the deflected elf in it, and the other one had the treasure pile and the gold dragon with breath weapon. $4.99 each. Yes, I would buy them again. We all need small dragons, so this isn't uh, this isn't something that uh, you know, would be out of the ordinary for me to purchase. I think the quality of them is good. A little disappointed about how the wings kind of converted over to the tail on that uh, gold dragon there. But you know what? We can make that work. I mean, I played role-playing games in, you know, the early 90s. We had to do more with less back then. So, you know, these are great. I do honestly believe that we are in the golden age of gaming as far as product available for us. So, with that being said... You know, I would buy these again, and I'm I'm happy they're around, and I'm happy that Wiz Kids teamed up with D and D to make these you know, budget-minded miniatures. Anyway, I want to thank you for watching this. Um, if you liked it, hit a thumbs up. Um, yeah, I just cracked uh, 600 subscribers, so thank you all that contributed to that. It means a lot to me. Just got back from being sick with pneumonia, so I had to take about three weeks off. Sorry about that, but I am positive that you didn't want to hear me basically hacking and coughing my goddamn lungs out in the middle of all of this, uh, you, you know, miniature opening goodness. So, um, got anything interesting, this, int uh, got anything interesting to say? Say it down below. Other than that, I will see you next time.